Because I'm stopping now. I'm like, why don't you get an OB? No, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to pay attention to it. But anyway, time to hop back into it. <laughs> yep, we back. Yep. I need to stop stalling. I've been, I'm not going to lie, guys. I've been stalling. <laughs> and, uh, because it's not my fault. This game is just so scary. It's so scary. Like, it's so scary to the point where I need to put both headphones on. Because I normally just put one ear, um, headphone on. Like, I normally like to keep one ear out. So I can, like, hear my surroundings. But I may have to put both of it. Like, headphones on so I can hear the game. Because the game involves you actually using your ears. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I knew that from the beginning. But it's just... I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I just... I've been a little hesitant to play this game because I'm legit actually scared to play. <laughs> but if you start hearing like me say like random sounds or whatever when I'm like focusing on something, it's the game. Like the uh, like sometimes I just I'll just say random words to keep myself busy. But yeah. Whoo. Before, uh, yeah, oh, I forgot. Let me go ahead and address this before uh, I just may all get confused. So, yes, I did beat, well, I didn't beat it. My creator beat it, uh, Jizathu. He beat Wednesday on the live stream, which y'all can go check out if you want to. But he beat Wednesday on a live stream uh, last time. What was it, like two months ago, a month ago? I don't know. Now we're on Thursday. I just need to beat Thursday and then Friday. <laughs> I'm so scared to up on low key. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna stop stalling. I'm gonna stop stalling and we're just gonna get in. You know, we're gonna hop in and hope to God that I can beat it. Hello, William. How are things going with the new restaurant? Busy, but we're on track for a successful opening tomorrow. Glad to hear it. Okay. And have you taken all the necessary safety measures? Of course, I don't need anyone telling me how to run my business. And those employees who think otherwise can find a little aggressive, but okay. Uh, understood. And what about your family? How's everyone doing? Elizabeth has been with me at work for the past few days. But as for Michael and Evan, they've been influenced by their mother's lies. Michael is too busy being a typical rebellious teenager, and Evan is just a young child who doesn't understand the situation. Mm. Frankly, I'd rather keep my distance from them okay. for the time being. They're at home at the moment. I see. Have you tried to have a conversation with your wife about this? It's not worth the effort. She's always been self-centered. Doesn't care about the family's well-being. She's even had the audacity to call me a hypocrite. But let's not focus on that right now. Let's talk about the restaurant, shall we? Uh, sure. But don't forget about your family. They're important, too. I don't need you to remind me of that. I know it's important. Now, if there's nothing else, I have work to do. Actually, I just wanted to say that I worry about you. I hope the restaurant's success will make you happy. Isn't that interesting? Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, but I have no time <laughs> for your pity. Okay, no pity. Alrighty. Yeah, so I'm getting to remember the story here. I'm getting to remember it, okay. Thursday. So basically my creator actually warned me saying we're gonna deal with we're gonna be dealing with these two. And uh I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, I kinda forgot how these two uh Greetings, Night Guard. Congratulations on work making it a little bit, but I, I think I understand so a little bit. I think I do. Job and I'm proud of you. Ah, my neck. But we'll find out. We'll find out when like I uh when we get there. Like oh, he already I moved like it. last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit Stop. by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, he already here. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal. No, that was, I was the wrong one. around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. I think. <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about Dude. a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. 
We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. Oh, okay. Apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro. Oh, God, I no see him in the back. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, oh, dude. they're giving me the heebie jeebies. It's only Especially been a that new bunny one. Second. But on the bright side, that bunny's new hide and seek function I is going to be seek a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. He already <laughs> seeking me, bro. But I'm confident you'll oh, handle it. Oh, like man. What was he going to upside? Weird right, at the end so of the So stick to the oh, standard procedures oh. and keep those robots oh. out. Oh, Hi. Way, you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Good to know. 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 Maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Now, hold on a moment. I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? I'm making a box. There's this document that just arrived. What? It's, well, it's better for you to look at it. A noticed document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding oh. one of the founders being convicted of a crime, yeah. including Fred Bear's family oh, diner. Yeah. That's outrageous! I, uh, uh, oh, wow, this is the first time I right. screamed that all loud. Right, all right, I'm about to die. All right. <clears throat> now, please return to all right, go ahead. Doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. I know you'll kill me, bro. Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying oh. to bring <laughs> This is the reason I didn't play for a damn month. This is the reason I didn't play. For the reason I go to do it. Don't care. My bro. Oh, this is the reason I didn't play for a month. This is the reason. Oh, this is the reason I didn't play for a couple of months. Ah. Oh. Like, guys, I'm at my parents' house right now. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Hello, William. How are things going I want to remind you guys. You know how embarrassing it is to scream at the top of your lungs, knowing that your parents can hear you. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Greetings, night guard. Congratulations on making it to night four. I must say, I'm impressed with your work so far. You're doing a Can fine job, and I'm proud of you. Back in your oh, box. Feels okay. Like it's been half and I feel like I'm a pretzel. little confused I like when it comes down to a good devil to me. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. My legs okay, I meant to go and put full earbuds, metal, full like, not earbuds, like ear... Junkyard Frankenstein. I meant to go ahead and put full sound on just so <laughs> I can go ahead and focus, like bro. That. Talk about a nightmare. Even though it's gonna cause me to literally anyway, scream at the top of my lungs if I drive. Dreams. Now I must confess. I forgot to mention something earlier. Right, that. We have some Ooh. new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work Ooh. before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, I thought you were on your ass, bro. Please don't just scare me, man. One. Don't just scare me, bro. Bunny's new hide and seek function is going I, to be a I hit hate your hide and seek function. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out too. <laughs> but I'm confident you'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard procedures and keep those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Who knows? Maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Now, hold on a moment. I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? I don't know what There's to do about that, dude. Arrived. What? It's, well, it's better for you to look at it. Uh. <laughs> okay, that didn't give me that time. I was prepared. I was prepared. Oh. Okay. Alright, guys. I'm gonna have to put it on full fucking... I don't even mean a curse like that, it's just that this game scares me so much. Like, out of every single FNAF fan game that has scared me this much, this is probably top tier. Like, if your fan game has me literally, <laughs> literally not wanting to play it because I know how scary it is, then that should tell you something. Because I have never hesitated to want to play a scary FNAF fan game. Like, I want to remind you. Jeff the Killer in all them other games, such as uh, Jack in the Box, they didn't scare me as much, clearly. This game? Jesus, bro. 
Like, woo. All right, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my other earbud in, and I end, may end up saying some weird things, but bear in mind I'm saying that stuff to simply simply keep myself calm here. So, earbuds fully in. Now, if you guys hear like anything else aside from what you uh, hear me saying, then yeah. Anyway, let's get started. From now on, I'm just gonna focus. I'm just gonna say what's on my mind. Hello, William. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Okay, I'm just, I just need to go. Whew. Okay. Greetings, Night Guard. Congratulations on making it to Night 4. I must say, I'm impressed with your work so far. You're doing a fine job, and I'm proud of you. Ah, my neck. Uh, feels like it's been bitten in half and twisted like pretzel. a pretzel. <laughs> I slept like a rock last night, Ooh. but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, Wait, half human, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. <laughs> Can you imagine yes. me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. I know it's new. Bonnie. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. Bit. Okay, it's they Bonnie, it's Bonnie, right? They before they're ready for prime time. Good. And to be honest, be good, bro. they're giving me the heebie-jeebies, especially that new bunny one. But, on the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. Bro, that is so funny that I hope you get spring locks. That's how, so, that's how funny it is, bro. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Who knows? Maybe I'll need you again for any updates. They're both now, out by door. I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. What? It's, well... It's better for you to look at it. Uh, a notice document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Yes. Including Fredbear's family. Yes. That's outrageous! I, uh, uh, uh. All right. All right, I understand. Go away. <clears throat> now, please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. <sighs> Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, we have nothing to Don't. hide and nothing to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn baby. Trust me on this one, kid. I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you down. The closure of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. Keep doing what you're doing, and you'll be just fine. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you keep hearing strange, <laughs> see, sorry, I gotta read shit. Oh my! Oh, why do I bother with these games? I swear. Ah. Oh. This is not good for my heart, oh, dude. Boy. This is not good for my heart. This is not good for my heart. I swear, this game is the only thing that's making me not want to play any more horror games, I swear. Greetings, Night Guard. Congratulations on making it to Night 4. I must say, I'm impressed with your work so far. You're doing a fine job, and I'm proud of you. Ah, my neck. Uh, feels like it's been bitten in half and twisted like a pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about a nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> anyway, enough about my weird dreams. 
Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require awesome some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, they're giving me the heebie-jeebies, especially that new bunny one. But on the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. <laughs> I gotta close both but fucking doors. You'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard oh procedures God. and keep those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Okay. Who knows? Maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Now, hold on a moment. I didn't even exit out. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. What? It's, well, it's better for you to look at it. Uh, a notice document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Yes. Including Fred Bear's family. Died yes. That's outrageous. I, uh, uh, uh. All right. All right. I understand. <clears throat> I don't know what that is, now, but I don't like it. Please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. <sighs> Woo! Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, oh, we have oh, nothing I'm to dead. hide and nothing to I'm fear. Dead. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn yep. baby. Trust me on this one, kid. <sighs> I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not my fault, though. I don't know. Oh, that's the thing. I don't know. Oh, dude. I have to beat this. I have to beat this. Uh, I probably won't beat this in one video. I'm just probably gonna take multiple videos to beat this. Huh. Greetings, Night Guard. Congratulations on making it to Night Four. I must say, I'm impressed with your work so far. What's that? You're doing a fine job, and I'm proud of By you. By the way, did you guys see that? Uh, neck. uh, feels like it's been bit in half and twisted like a Night pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird you dream. You see that uh, endoskeleton, by the way? And let me tell you, like I'm not the only pretty. one, right? My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier. Like, but literally, there was the an endoskeleton like at my door. And no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for okay. prime time. And to be honest, they're okay. giving me the heebie jeebies. Especially that new bunny one. But, Go. on the bright side, that bunny's new hide and seek Help. function is going to be a hit with the kids. Just Help. make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. <laughs> but I'm confident you'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard procedures and keep those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this what? morning's voice recording session for He's the tapes. Both. You sounded fantastic. Who knows? Maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Now, hold on a moment. I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. What? It's, well... It's better for you to look at it. Uh, a notice document it's about involved. the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of He's the gone, founders though. being convicted of a crime. Yeah. Where'd he go? Including Fred Bear's family. Died yeah. That's outrageous! Uh, 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 uh. All right. All right, I understand. <clears throat> now, please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. <sighs> Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. 
But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Ah, Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn baby. Trust me on this one, kid. <sighs> I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you down. The closure of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. You keep bet. doing what you're doing, and you'll be just fine. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you keep hearing strange noises or distorted voices, it's probably just our new Fred Bear roaming around. You know how these things go, always causing trouble. Just don't hear me, bro. We're working on fixing its music box, which is also supposed to make him talk. But in the meantime, just remember to keep that door shut if it gets too close to your office. Alrighty then, keep up the good work, and I'll get you on the flip side. Bro. Bro. Oh, doing so well. Oh, I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Bro. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I can't even make it past the focus roll. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus. You know what doesn't make it Great better? Night, guard. Congratulations on making it to night four. Having nightmares say, about this game. Your work so far. You're doing a fine yeah, job, you and I'm proud of you. I had uh, nightmares about this neck. game. Uh, feels like it's been bitten in half and twisted like a pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human. And let me tell you, I wasn't pretty. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Whoa. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something I earlier. I not know what time it was. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, they're giving me the heebie-jeebies. Especially that new bunny one. But, on the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. <laughs> but I'm confident you'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard procedures and keep those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Who knows? Maybe I'll need you Dude. again for any updates. Now, hold on a moment. I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. What? What is that? Well, it's better for you to look at it. Uh a notice document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Yes. Including Fredbear's family. Yes. That's outrageous! Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Alright, I understand. <clears throat> now, please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the I know I'm not tripping. There's an illness gets on before. Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn baby. Trust me on this one, kid. I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you down. The closure of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. Keep doing what you're doing, and you'll be just fine. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you keep hearing strange noises or disturbing oh, noises, I hear it. It's probably just <laughs> 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 Ah
This entire video has literally just been me being silent. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this. <gasps> I don't know. Like, I've never had a video while I'm silent most of the time. Like, that's how you know a game has actually got me. <laughs> if I'm being silent. Ah. Oh. Okay, also sorry if you heard me say like weird noises earlier. It's mostly because... They're trying to keep myself distracted because... Oh, I'm scared I... I try to... Try to focus on other things here. Guys... It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh my god. And the thing is, I want to... What? Okay, this is probably the first time you've seen my camera, like, fall. 24-7. But, uh, anyway. As I was saying... I want this series to be the first series that I finish on my channel. I don't know what I gotta do to beat it, but I'm gonna beat it. I'm not gonna cheat my way out either. This is not how I do things. We don't- we don't cheat around here. Not when it comes to these games, anyway. So... Guys... I'm probably gonna have to stream it. I'm probably... Notifications, I'm in the middle of trying to make a good speech right now. It is not the time for you to pop up. Anyway... Guys... Next, um... <laughs> the next... Next recording... I'm gonna beat it. <laughs> Heck, I'll probably stream it. You know what, would you guys like that better? I mean, shit, we just had 800 subscribers, so that's a W a good way to celebrate is, is me beating the game. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but for right now, this will be all for now. Like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want more, you know what to do. Just comment down what other FNAF games you want me to play. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight.